This is the Tactical Armoured Patrol Vehicle. It's a standard armoured car across the Royal Canadian Armour Corps. So this allows us to train with a modern armoured fighting vehicle. It's also used by the regular force so that we're more able to easily integrate for large-scale collective training and on operations overseas. Before we had the G-Wagon Jeeps, which allowed us to practice the skill sets, but it required a much additional training for those uh, train drivers and, and gunners to move on to an armored vehicle. Now that they have the same armored vehicle and we're able to practice those skill sets locally, it makes that transition much easier. The crewmen, for, after they complete their basic soldier training, they have to do about a month's worth of uh, basic armored crewman training. And then after that, they move on to a, a two-week driver course on these vehicles. It's a 20-ton armored car when fully loaded. Uh, it's equipped with a remote weapon station on top with a 40 millimeter automatic grenade launcher that can fire 350 grenades out to, per minute out to a kilometer. It's also equipped with a medium machine gun. There's, uh, there's advanced sensors and sights on it and uh, the driver system is computerized in terms of diagnostics so if there's a problem with the vehicle they can tell what it is right away. So these particular variants will take uh, six people so a, a three-person crew with a driver, a gunner, a crew commander, and it can take up to three dismounted soldiers as well. It is an all-terrain vehicle. Um, it will handle deep mud. Uh, it can go cross-country extremely quickly. And, and that's another important skill set for us because with these vehicles, it's easier for drivers to make the transition to even heavier armored vehicles, including tanks, because they are experienced at driving cross-country using these. So today is uh, St. George's Day, which is basically a, a regimental homecoming, if you will. So we have our veterans will be coming this afternoon. Uh, we'll be giving away awards and scholarships to soldiers that have performed exceptionally well. And as part of that, we wanted to ensure that our, our regimental family and the public got a chance to see this new equipment.